Hey, what's going on guys? Mark Thompson and in this video we're going to talk about how to set up your website. I'm also going to show you two websites uh, of my own uh, affiliate sites that uh, have done pretty well and you know I'm, I'm pretty transparent when it comes to you know the things that I do so I have no problem showing you a few real-life examples. I know a lot of uh, affiliate marketers are very secretive about their sites and the different niches that they're in. Um, while I, I am to some extent, I don't mind showing you a few examples. So, uh, just to get things started here, let's let's talk about how you should be structuring or building your website. The good thing is there's no right or wrong way to build a website, a niche website. Okay, there are some tips and tricks that can help you uh, improve conversions, but you know, there's I've built I've built websites with lots of different free WordPress themes and they've all you know some have done better than others um, but there's a few things that we're gonna look at and analyze that I'll show you when you're building your site so don't feel that you need to follow exactly what I do step by step okay um, I'm gonna show you some tricks I'll show you some examples but feel free to use any WordPress theme that you'd like uh, or that you feel comfortable with okay um, one thing to remember is that with niche websites niche affiliate sites less is more okay the only thing you're really trying to do is get someone to click on your affiliate link and go and purchase the product okay if you're doing too much then you know and, and your your site is really busy people might get intimidated by it and leave your site okay so um, I'm gonna go through a few examples in a bit here and I'm gonna show you how simple my websites are and they're really easy to replicate okay Few people I did want to mention though, um, Matt Carter. He's a really he's an expert niche marketer. I learned a lot of what I know from Matt, and he has a theme called Sleek Theme. Uh, it's a it's a free WordPress theme that I've used on a number of my Amazon sites, and Matt offers it for free. And all you need to do is just go to mattsmarketingblog.com/template/gifts2.html. And that's where you can download it and you can use it. And I'll show you which site, I'll show you one of my examples, I actually used his theme. So you can use it. He explains, uh, there's a video on, on this link here that shows how to use his theme. Uh, every, every theme's a little bit different in terms of how you publish content, um, but Matt does a pretty good job of explaining how to use that theme. So if you're looking for kind of a starting point, uh, this is a really good theme. Chris Guthrie, he's another real good niche marketer, especially with Amazon. Uh, he has a theme called azontheme.com. Uh, it's 77 bucks. Feel free to visit slash walkthrough, and he'll kind of show you the theme that he uses. So, you know, every every affiliate marketer has their own style and and you know their own personality to their websites. So so don't feel like you need to be using these different templates. Um, I've tried my own custom sites, my own custom themes. I've also used uh, Chris Guthrie's template. I've used um, Matt Carter's templates. They they all work well. The the biggest thing that you need to focus on is targeting the right niche, driving good backlinks to your site, um, and then the a few tips and tricks that you'll want to learn to help get people to click on your sites. Okay, so uh, in a second here, I'm going to switch over to the browser and we'll look at a few sites and I'll kind of dissect them and uh, I'll show you why I did what I did. All right, guys, welcome back. So um, I'm showing you one of my affiliate sites here. This is lumexreviews.net, and uh, feel free to go ahead and look at it. It's a, it's a live site right now. Uh, basically, I, I built a site around the Panasonic Lumex uh, camera brand. So uh, as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. There's not too much you know, on this site. So let me explain a few things here. I have now the fact that I'm I'm doing a niche site on Panasonic Lumex. There's a lot of different series. There's the GF series. There's the S series, TS, uh, ZS. So that's why I created a navigation to help organize all of my content. So I've cre I've categorized things properly to help with the overall site architecture and to help get my content crawled a little bit easier um, in, for search engines. Okay. Um, you know, I, so I've I've broken it out into the different camera series. Uh, I've I've also reviewed some lenses, uh, just a more generic Lumex reviews since that's kind of my my main keyword. 
And then also like discounts and coupon codes, I also have that in there as well because people are searching for where they can find uh, discounts. Now you'll notice the, the blog homepage is just a whole bunch of posts, right? There's nothing. It shows the, the main post here. Uh, this is the most recent post. And then it goes right into kind of, uh, you know, just in, in chronological order. And you'll notice in the sidebar, I just, I've used one of the Amazon widgets. And then I also have links to recent posts. Okay, so here's the goal of this niche site. As you can see, I have created content for specific phrases for each blog post. So this is optimized for Panasonic, Lumex, Camera Review. This one is a G series review, and this is on a specific model. So um, FZ35, LX5, the TZ20 review, GF2. So my goal was not was not to get people to land specifically on the home page, but to drive them to a specific page on the site. So let's look at this one here: Panasonic Lumex GF2 review. So what what I'm optimizing for is if someone searches for this exact camera plus a review, I want that I want this to show up in the search results. I don't want I don't want the home page to show up because this is the most relevant to the person's search. So what I did was I optimized the title tag, I put um, I optimized this heading tag here, and then I've also um, done a few things here. I've linked to the Amazon product right here using the keyword rich link anchor text I've also shown a high quality graphic of the camera that links to the Amazon site I've also added an, a, a video from Amazon or from YouTube uh, just to kind of build more um, you know authority uh, make it a, a very complete review uh, and I've also added a call to action down here with another picture of it on Amazon like a buy now button okay so there's a few different things here that I'm doing I'm a lot that are gonna help conversions I'm linking to it through the image I'm linking to it contextually a few different times and then I'm also ha I also have a buy now button here at the at the bottom okay and you'll notice that the the article is well written uh, I did outsource this to a virtual assistant but it's very easy to read I used um, number lists you'll see throughout a lot of my uh, content here you'll see a lot of sub headlines um, this is probably a bad example but let's see if I can find one here so you'll see a lot of bulleted lists uh, you'll see I use the buy now button uh, you'll see I'm, I'm linking to the camera so you know as you can see each each blog post is very very relevant to what um, the camera or the model or the search is, is the searcher is searching so all of the, I've written reviews on all of these different cameras, and if you aggregate all of this search volume for these different types of reviews, that can generate a lot of, of volume, okay? A lot of search volume. So, again, this is a very simple site. Um, you know, there's really not too much about it. I just created a lot of content, and uh, I targeted a specific model number for each one, and then posted links and images on each page, okay? This is another one here. This is, uh, you know, we talk we talk about in the advanced section about uh, optimizing for products that haven't even come out yet. Okay, so this Rage uh, Rage the game is a new PlayStation game. It just came out uh, last month, I believe. And so what I did was I um, I found out, you know, six to twelve months ago that this uh, that this product was going to be released and I built a site around it because there was no competition uh, or relatively no competition and I was able to get the domain ragethegame.com which is a great domain and I optimized for people searching that now you'll notice here this is a, a different theme this is Matt Carter's theme and it's a little bit different I, I kind of spiced it up a little bit more I added a call to action here on the right side um, I added recent posts I did some screenshots of the of the product I did I added the official trailer um, these also go to CPA offers so if they sign up for GameStop um, so you'll notice anybody that comes to the site is probably a gamer so I have a few different CPA offers from different CPA networks uh, where you know get get an Xbox 360 and and 4,000 points point game card uh, if they sign up here same thing if they sign up for a GameStop 
um, or if they buy something from GameStop. Now you'll notice that the layout is relatively the same except all the posts are, are displaying all of the content here. And you'll see that, uh, like I noticed a lot of people were searching for Rage for PlayStation 3 or PS3. So I created a post on that and also put some call to actions in here. You know, get Rage the game for PlayStation 3 here. Put some images on each. This links to my, this is my affiliate link. Rage for PC, same concept. People searching for Rage the game on PC. People are always searching for trailers, screenshots, previews of the game, so I, I optimize for that. Same thing with Xbox 360, Rage release date. Look inside of the game, pre-order Rage of the Game. A lot of people were looking to pre-order. So you'll see, I mean, these sites are very, very simple, but I'm very strategic and very focused on, on the content that I'm creating. So, um, you know, this is just focused on only Rage the Game. Now, you could go and replicate the same strategy for a new, another upcoming game, and you'll notice one thing that I saw, and um, one second here. When I was doing, like, let's just do uh, Google Trends here. Okay, Rage the Game. Now you'll see here, I mean, look at the huge spike in, let's see if I can do the last 12 months. Now look at, now look here, I, so I started this in like April, so there was some buzz going on, and then boom, this the, the game came out and there's a huge spike, so I'm capitalizing on that. And I, I did very well here. I got a lot of affiliate sales just from this huge spike, okay? And, and it's still going up. So I position my site to rank well for people searching Rage the Game, Rage for PlayStation, Rage for Xbox. Um, and this is a great strategy. I mean, you can make a lot of money. Now, the problem is that I can't rely on this long term because Rage the Game is at some point going to not be discontinued, but it's going to lose its buzz. But for now, in the next six months to a year, I mean, the, there's a lot of people talking about it. And, uh, you know, they may make other versions of Rage, you know, maybe Rage 2 or Rage 3. And I've positioned this website already, you know, it's doing well in the search results. And I'm able to make a lot of affiliate money from it. So, you know, these are just two different sites. Uh, hopefully you can kind of get a good feel for, you know, how, how I'm structuring the websites, uh, how I'm how I'm creating my content, how I'm linking within my, my posts, uh, the type of images I'm, I'm doing or I'm using. So go ahead and kind of reverse engineer what I did here and look through all of these different sites on what I did. Okay, and you can replicate, you can replicate it for other niches. All right, so these are just two, um, two uh, sites that I've created. I mean, I've created a, a whole bunch of them, but I thought that these would be two good examples. Um, so... Uh, feel free to replicate what I've done using, um, you know, the, the themes or any theme that, that you want or feel comfortable with. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video.